Welcome back Diablo 4 fans, today we're going to be covering off dungeons in the end game of Diablo 4. So in total there are 116 dungeons in Diablo 4. Now dungeons themselves are good for farming loot, but probably most importantly they are for unlocking something called aspects. Now these aspects help you craft rare items into specific legendary items that will help your build. Now as part of this mini-series, I'm going to be releasing easy to follow guides on all parts of Diablo 4, so we'll pick up aspects in another video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to get notified of when the rest of the mini-series gets released. Now, back to dungeons themselves, you can start completing dungeons at any level. What they are are just structured levels within the game, and they differ from each other. Essentially what you're going to be doing is completing two to three tasks and then a fight a boss at the end. These tasks are things like finding a stone and then placing it on an altar, slay all the enemies in a certain part of the dungeon, destroy these towers, those sorts of tasks you'll be doing. You'll complete one task and then you'll open a door to another part of the dungeon and then so on until the final battle. Now, I have found that some dungeons don't have boss fights at the end, so when you've completed your final task, it just ends. And sometimes it doesn't really feel like it's got a lot of fanfare to it. It's kind of just, boom, it ended, that's it. Now, if you take Diablo 3, for example, you know it's the end because the Rift Guardian shows up and then you close the Rift back in town and that's the end of it. But in Diablo 4, it kind of just pops up after a task completion, which kind of sucks a little bit. It's not as clean as what it should be. But you do get some good XP, loot, renown for the area on completion. So once you've unlocked Nightmare Difficulty, you will unlock Nightmare Dungeons or have the ability to unlock Nightmare Dungeons. So to get your first sigil, you'll need to complete a Tree of Whispers. Again, that's another video that's going to be released as part of this mini-series. But once you've completed it, you'll have a chance that a sigil drops as part of your loot box. That itself will be Tier 1 sigil. So dungeons go from Tier 1 to Tier 100, and then they scale in difficulty from 1 to 100. Now dungeons take place in exactly the same place as the, what the dungeons are, but they increase in difficulty with the tiers that are assigned to that specific sigil. One of the key differences in a Nightmare Dungeon is revives. You only get 12 for the whole dungeon, so if you revive yourself 12 times, you will fail the Nightmare Dungeon. Now, if somebody revives you, if you're in a group and someone revives you, that does not count to your 12 revives, and they decrease the higher the tier level you go up as well. Within a Nightmare Dungeon, you will start to see drops of certain items like glyphs. Now, glyphs are used on Paragon boards, but again, I'm going to be picking up that in another video of these mini-series that we're releasing. Now, back to Nightmare Dungeons. Not only scale in difficulty with the tiers, they also have something called afflictions put on them. So you'll sometimes see uh, a rock chasing you with lightning affliction. It's indestructible piece of floating rock that's going to chase you all around the dungeon, it will have a set area of damage, so make sure you've got to get out of the way before it goes off. Another one is an orb that turns into a shield, and if you're not under that shield after the allotted time, a bolt of lightning will hit you, causing damage, sometimes it's fatal damage. Now, the higher you go up in tiers, you could have up to five afflictions within a nightmare dungeon. And like I said, tiers range from 1 to 100, and the higher the difficulty, the more XP and the more loot that you'll get when you've completed them. So after completing your first Nightmare Dungeon, you'll be able to start crafting those sigils within the cultists. So that's awesome. That's really good. It keeps you going along. You will get a drop of a sigil within the Nightmare Dungeons as well. Main focus of Nightmare Dungeons is XP, is Renown, but more importantly, at the end of it, you get to upgrade your glyphs. And you get to upgrade them. The higher the tier, the higher the amount of XP you get to put on the glyphs. Glyphs are using Paragons. I'll cover that in another video. And really, that is everything that you'll need to know about Nightmare Dungeons in Diablo 4. So please hit the like and subscribe, as I will be releasing a full list of videos and tutorials that will help you through this game. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you all again soon.